In this video, I would like to find the splitting field of the polynomial x to the third minus 1. And this is going to be the splitting field of this polynomial over q. So let's recall that the splitting field of a polynomial is the smallest field extension. So we want the smallest field extension of q such that the polynomial that we started with splits completely over this extension. So the first thing that we better do is we better find the roots of x to the third minus 1. And so the roots of this are going to be exactly the complex numbers that if you raise them to the third power, you just get 1. So we know an easy example of that right off the bat, which is just 1. But we also have the other complex, what are called the third roots of unity. So one of those is going to be e to the 2 pi i over 3. And then the other one is going to be e to the 4 pi i over 3. OK, and we know that these are all of the roots of this polynomial because it is a degree 3 polynomial. And so what we want to do is we want to figure out what we have to adjoin to Q uh, so that we have all of these roots. And that'll give us the smallest extension where this polynomial splits. OK, so if we call this root, let's just call this omega. And we notice that all of our roots can be described in terms of omega. So this root, for example, is equal to omega squared. And then this root over here is equal to omega to the third. So if we adjoin omega to q, we should have all of our roots. So this is q adjoin omega or q adjoin e to the 2 pi i over 3. And uh, as a side note, uh, we might notice that this is also the splitting field of this polynomial. So this is the third cyclotomic polynomial. And this is the polynomial that just has omega and omega squared as its roots. So this is also the splitting field of, of this polynomial. And we're done.